Greetings to everyone. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Thank you for sharing your thoughts on the video that I have done or videos that I've done about Alyssa Kim and Boo. I just want to say thank you so much for sharing your ideas or expressing your various opinion. And I have no problem with people expressing their opinion as long as you understand that you must do so with respect. There's no reason to be disrespectful. Okay? And if you're not being disrespectful, listen. Thank you and welcome. Now on the screen, there's a picture of a home. And I'm going to say that a house is not a home unless God is in it and love dwells within the walls of that house. Okay? And what happens within this household is the business of the people that live there until they invite others. So if you are married or you're in a relationship with, mm -hmm. with someone, please remember that once you take what happens behind these closed doors and share it with people, it becomes their business. Okay, so you can't then say, oh, it's none of your business. It's their business because you invited them into it. Okay. Now, I'm going to say, as much as we're on the topic of Kim and Boo, and boy, you people wanna love the mix-up, I love a little bit of it too, okay? Someone said to me that she didn't like me at first, but, you know, because she thought I was very fast. And I laughed when I saw the comment, because, yeah, I am a bit fast, you know? I'm curious if that means the same thing as fast. Someone has been asking me for a patwa video and I have failed miserably and I'm going to use this opportunity to put some patwa in this conversation, okay? Let me tell you something. When I read some of those comments as it relates to the situation going on with Alyssa and her husband, Bo, it really irks me, to be honest with, with you. Not because you have opinions to share, but because you fail to realize that if you understood what actually takes place in people's homes, you'd be very cautious with what you're saying. Because some of the messages some of you are sending out there, and what I realize is some of you are taking it very personal. It is sort of a trigger for some of you, and that's why you're so angry. So it's not their situation that's really upsetting you. It's because it's triggering you because you have memories or experience or things that you're going through right now. Now, here's what I'm going to say. I want the people who are considering long distance relationships or others who are already past the stage where they've already sponsored their partner and the person is living in the household with you. At this point, there is no more honeymoon. At this point, you're starting life together and you're going to have to get to understand and learn each other. Before you thought you knew each other, we all know that we don't know people. They say, see me and come live with me is two different things. Okay. So for the individual saying the most, consider this. When someone goes to a different country and marry somebody and decide that they're going to sponsor the, pers the person. No one is forcing these individuals to do this, okay? And th that is one of the reasons why I'm annoyed with some of the comments that are being made. Because, for example, when Boo decided to go to Jamaica, if you remember, Boo went to Jamaica and engaged her, I think, the first time he saw her. They had a lavish wedding. He would have decided within himself, this is what I want to propose to somebody and to marry them in such short order, someone would feel within themselves, I got to grab this girl. I can't afford to lose her. Okay. You all need to listen to what you're saying because you're saying Kim used him. Kim did Kim time. Did she force him? Did she hold him at some point and say, marry me now? Or did she say to him, if you don't marry me now and bring me to America, this or that is going to happen to you. No, the grown man decided that he wanted to marry this girl. This was the love of his life. And she, in turn, accepted 
he couldn't carry on a relationship with her if he didn't bring her to the country where he's at. He could have, but he chose not to. Now, if Kim was a bad person, then when he would go to Jamaica after they get married to live, she would say, I don't want you then. That did not happen. That was not a choice. He wanted her to come with him. And I ever heard him say with his own mouth that it's not about opportunity and that he was very happy to bring her where he's at. So people need to think. Now, I'm going to also say that there's so many people living all parts of the world who are sponsored, who are suffering. And because of people like individuals who make these bad comments to make it seem like because someone sponsor you, you have to go through all kinds of tribulation with them. You have to surrender your will. You have no agency because someone sponsored you. You have to understand that relationships are relationship shape, right? If you are in Jamaica and these things are happening, you would choose to say this is not working out and walk away. So why? And I'm not saying this is what's happening, but I'm just saying, why would somebody not be able to have those same choice? This sponsorship business has become like a noose around individuals neck. People are putting these horrible positions, forcing them to put up with all kinds of disrespect, all kinds of terrible things because somebody sponsored you. The pathos thing still didn't kick in yet. So let me see if I can put it in second gear. Uno to enough and wicked. Somebody marrying somebody and bringing them to another country doesn't mean the person own your life. Doesn't mean that you have to surrender your life to the person. And I'm speaking this way because I had that experience where I was going through domestic situations that I would not have tolerated if I was in my country. But, you know, if you're a woman and a man sponsors you and you walk away, it's going to, the first thing wicked people is going to say is that you use the person. And so what do you do? You grunt and you bear it. You're hoping it's going to work out. You care for the person. You love the individual. You are going to try to work it out. But not everybody is the same. Some people would rather go back home than sacrifice their peace, than sacrifice, you know, their well-being or their integrity or their voice. So some of you that are coming out very angry, you're not mad with Alicia because she chose to get an apartment. You're mad because you don't have the courage to do that. So you allow yourself to be tossed and pushed here and shoved there and whatever. And I'm going to say to the young woman, whatever is best for you, this man, your husband, boo, didn't do more for you than you did for him. It was something where you both benefited. And so the people who are talking and you're free to talk, I'm just annoyed because I'm saying if you speak this way and individuals were to listen to you, this is when we end up seeing people on the news. Sometimes it's best people separate instead of letting things get out of hand. And that green card or that landy status is not worth somebody's life and it's not worth their peace of mind. People should not lose their mind because someone sponsored them. When we do these things, especially these relationships that, you know, evolve so quickly. You have to understand that that point when people are getting to know each other, it's going to be tense. And they're all different variables that cause people to struggle when they first come together. Most persons who are in long distance relationship and they get together, it is going to be a period of getting to know each other, working through the angst. Okay. So for those of you who want to continue to say that this young lady should have just stayed with him, come what may, even though you don't know the story, you don't know the truth. You don't know if it's a prank and you don't know if it's real. So you, you need to tone it down a little bit. Calm down a little bit. But I'm saying, listen, if this is the reality of them going their separate ways, temporary or permanently, if they feel 
the young lady feels that she's not happy, then she has all right to do so regardless.